This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, shockingly enough, Aretha Franklin has died without leaving behind a will. Now, they're saying that's very surprising given her circumstances, but that does mean that the four children that she has will share equally in her estate, according to Michigan law. So that's not bad. Yeah, and a lot of people don't like to have a will because they don't want to accept they're going to die. And, you know, maybe she didn't like anybody. If I don't like you, I'm not leaving you nothing. Or maybe you just know automatically it's going to go and be split. To your kids, your right, kids, or your family. So yeah, then you right. feel like there's no need to do that. Yeah, and no need to, to, to delegate. No need to say you get this, you get that, you get that, because then all the kids are just going to be in fighting. Everybody just get an equal share. Keep it moving. It makes sense. The only thing about it is that if you do have a will, things get moving a lot quicker. So it doesn't have like a period of time that you have to wait and get things split up. So it just kind of ex- expedites that process. Why well, she just didn't put on a piece of paper leave it to the kids? Well, mm. her attorney uh, said that he was after her for a number of years to do a trust because of that. And she just didn't. She wanted to keep things. And also when you have a will, it keeps things private too. Mm. So all your stuff isn't exposed, how much money you're worth and all of that. So those are the reasons why... Someone in her position would have a will. Prince didn't leave a will either, did he? No, that's no, why they're having all these nope. uh, fights over his estate. Mm. If he would have, it would have been a lot easier. Gotcha. Just something to think about. All right. Now, her family also is not mad at Madonna for that VMA tribute that everybody was mad about. One of her nephews actually said the family was not upset. They said that Aretha wouldn't have been upset either. So no reason for people to uh, take shots at Madonna anymore. Now, Madonna herself addressed First things. of all, Aretha would be upset because if Aretha... That was alive to hear that, and somebody was up there talking about she was dead. She'd be very upset. Don't be saying I'm dead when I'm not dead. Well, according to Madonna, she said, um, I was asked to present video of the year by MTV, and they, and they asked me to share any anecdotes I had in my career connected to Aretha Franklin. I shared a part of my journey and thanked Aretha for inspiring me along the way. I did not intend to do a tribute to her. That would be impossible in two minutes with all the noise and tinsel of an award show. I could never do her justice in this context or environment. Unfortunately, most people have short attention spans and are so quick to judge. I, I love a, Aretha. I read, a, sense, I read a stat yesterday. They said Madonna talked about herself 72 times and talked about Aretha Franklin four times. So if you didn't plan on doing an Aretha Franklin tribute, then don't come out after they do an Aretha Franklin montage and have Aretha Franklin backdrop behind you. Yeah, maybe she didn't know anything like that. I don't know. I don't believe I don't know what was happening behind the scenes at Mm. uh, the VMAs. Now, Lamar Odom talks about his situation when he was in a coma and how he's a miracle because he could have been dead. He's talking to Kevin Hart on Kevin Hart's YouTube Coldest Ball show, and here's what he said. Is Lamar Odom fully over the addiction side? Yes. How does that make you feel? Great, bro. Every day, I'm alive. Do you it's a good now, day to be alive, considering the alternative. 100%. Do you now realize how close to death you were? Yeah, all my doctors that see me say I'm a walk miracle. I had 12 strokes and 6 heart attacks yeah. when I was in the coma. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's lucky to be alive. That's a miracle. Now Mm -hmm. he's fully sober, he says, and he's over his addiction. So congratulations to Lamar Odom. That's not a small feat at all, but it's an everyday process. All right, Def Jam and the New York Jets, they have announced a partnership deal for the upcoming NFL season. They're going to be partnering up. So this this was all revealed on the Jets website. So what that means now is Def Jam is going to give unique contact content from its artists to help with the Jets fans in-game experience. So they're going to be doing music, the Jets team anthem that's going to be heard at all their home games as they take to the field. And they also will have a video series containing highlights of various elements from both Def Jam and from the Jets throughout the season. Damn, Def Jam don't give a damn about Colin Kaepernick or none of the NFL protests, huh? Oh. They you can look at it like that, or you can look at it, they, they're supporting the players that are playing, because it's, it's majority African-American players in the league that still got to support their family. What if you're an artist who decided that you are not supporting the NFL this year, but you signed the Def Jam? You ain't well, got to do it. I don't think it. Def Jam does they don't make you do it. They don't yeah. make you do it. How do you know? Def Jam may be just like the NFL. They might make their players do what they tell them to do. You still got to nah. sign off. They don't make you do it. Damn. All right. Well, you don't have to sign a deal, as young Dolph is not doing right now. He recently talked about turning down a deal. Here's what he had to say. Man, I got myself in a f***ed up ass situation, dog. I don't know what the f*** to do, dog. Bro, for the last six months, I've been having a mother $22 million contract debating on should I do the deal or not. I'm like, should I take the $22 million or f*** the $22 million? F*** the $22 million. <laughs> He said, F the $22 That's million, and he I respect threw that. away the contract. Drop on the clues bombs for Young Dolph. The, re- the reason I respect that is because Young Dolph may be making less money, but he probably has more freedom. 
You know what I'm saying? He has, probably has more creative freedom, more freedom just to do what it is that he wants to do. So why be a slave to that paperwork for $22 million? Because I'm sure for $22 million, you're going to be signed for a long time. They're going to get a percentage of your stuff as well. Absolutely. So. But it's a every individual's decision. He decided not to do it. Some people might be like, I don't have a team right. put in place to do all the things that a record label could do for me. And I need it. But it seems like he's doing quite well independently. I would rather be independent than be a slave to the record label. Right, but some people don't have somebody that could do marketing. Some people don't right. have a PR person. A well, radio I think Dolph, person. Dolph would be a bigger artist if he was things. signed to a label. I think he'd be a way bigger sometimes artist. Sometimes it takes people to the next level. You just don't Absolutely. know individually I, people's I, situation. Nowadays, I just don't want to be a slave. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.